we have uh, the following setup. The machine is already on charge. So you can use a, what's it called? A casual plug-in, but you can actually also run it with a, a car battery. So you can be mobile with the machine. That's no problem. The machine already is switched on. That's uh, what we can see here at the red light. So actually we can turn it off. And if we now open it again, because it's on charge, it will always um, stick out. It takes a few seconds up to a minute until the light will be switched on, which is our sign that the machine runs. And there is also uh, a certain sound that assures us that the machine is running. Okay, good. That's the ping. So the machine is now turned on. Uh, we have already loaded the machine in this case with Kong and some medium in difficulty in medium uh, distractor sense. Behind every hole are two boxes. And the machine knows that the left box is target sent, the right box is a distractor or empty. And depending on what program we run, what setup we log in, we will have a between zero to four positive possibilities. So if we start with a young dog, there could be the chance of finding very fast. If we choose to have four positive holes, and if the dog is already more advanced in training, we can run uh, blank searches as well, or one positive one at the time. So now we're on. There we have one app, which is already loaded uh, or downloaded on the system. It's the DTTS, which is what we need. So we connect, of course, we could also do a, a, a setup um, and change the language to English. But since we're in Austria, we use the German language. Here we connect this tablet with the machine. Now we are connected. Actually, we even see uh, that the ball module is connected. We see that the temperature in the machine is down at two degree Celsius and the uh, Stromverbrauch is the the amount of uh, energy that is required to run the machine right now. So as soon as we run the machine, the the level will be higher. Here we have the profiles of our different dogs. So we have our explosive detection dogs. <laughs> there is a file called Oldies. Actually, I think Hans did this. Then we have the firearm detection canines, we have the bed bug detection dogs, and this is just a pattern group. In these groups, we have several dogs. So this is Ludwig, Pük, Semtex, Viper, for example. Um, here we only have Cool as the firearm detection dog at the bed bug detection. Right now we have three dogs that we already worked with and far more to set up. Here we have the odors. So we have again the bed bug detection dogs, we have uh, the, the younger dogs, which actually are the explosive detection dogs. We have Kong, we have firearms, and we also have a group of distractor scents, which is also important to set up. Back there, we would have some uh, stats or statistics, um, which is not so interesting right now. We could uh, uh, select a group, for example, the explosive detection dogs, we could have for example, Ludwig, oops, Ludwig, and see what he has been doing so far. Um, but actually, this would require some more time to define what uh, exactly we want to see. So right now, actually, I just want to show you how we train the dogs. So we will run uh, some, some training rounds now with our... Um, bed bug detection dogs, which is now Ignatz, because Ignatz is also on Kong. And as soon as I have selected a certain dog, um, the setup from the last session that we did will be uh, renewed. 
since this is the first session in two or three days, I go down in the time of indication. I will go down to two seconds. Um, there is no time of false indication. There is no time of uh, let latency. I don't know the English word for this. So, for example, if the dog searches, 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 hits the correct hole, but moves on and then comes back. This is the time that allows the dog to return to the correct hole. Otherwise, it will be uh, a missed one. We do in this case only 10 repetitions. Uh, we always have only one target odor. We have a balance switched on. That means in the first seven rounds, there will be each hole given. So each hole from one to seven will be given randomized. And from the eighth repetition on, it will be a total random randomized session. Um, we have 20% of blank searches. We have all food containers switched on. So if you have, for example, a dog who is allergic to something, you could choose the, the hypo allergy in, uh, allergic food in the middle. Uh, can and, and therefore you could choose just the middle one if you have a dog like that. In this case, we have all on. Also, we have a ball reward and we will do the ball reward on 30% plus the last search, which would be in this case um, four times reward with a ball. There is unfortunately right now only one setup to choose the marking signal or the secondary reinforcer, which is a beep. And now we choose the, the left container as the, the one with the target order for uh, Kong. And on the right side, it is nothing. So the distractor is blank and you can choose whatever you want to. So in this case, we have some distractors in there, but since we're not doing a scientific research right now, I don't really care. Um, what is in there. We have some food, we have some gloves, we have some cotton balls, etc. So now I go and get the dog and then we move on. So we have the, the setup that we installed before. Now we will just start with Ignaz, uh, the training round on Kong. We have 20% of blank searches. We have between 30% and the last one as a ball reward. The rest will be food rewarded. Um, and in this case, we have trained these dogs that actually learned Ignaz Legen to do a sta stand and stare and head back. We have to train them to stick with their nose in the hole and keep the contact. So that's why we reduced the time of indication now on two seconds and we have a leaded search. So we guide the dog from hole to hole to hole to hole, as uh, you would see it in a lineup, until the dogs have enough experience and reward history on the machine, then we will start to let them search more independently. But uh, you will see what I'm talking about in a second. So here you will now see that there will be no reward uh, it's the first uh, session and it's a blank search. And uh, my colleague Florian will now always tell me where the odor is, if there is an odor and what kind of reward there will be given. Sieben Ball. Vielleicht schaust du doch auf der anderen Seite zu. Setzen. Ignaz. So. so what we then did, uh, that we helped the dog and bridge him through the indication behavior by touching him having a slight leash pull or pressure from the side. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Set. 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 
so we have to continue manually. Ignaz, sitzen. Drei Futter. Ignaz. Fünf Ball. Sitzen. And that's the difficulty that you will have to spend some time in conditioning the Bing as a secondary reinforcer. Because in this case you could observe that the dog moves on in searching or at least search-like behavior until he saw that there is a ball falling. That's why actually we always carry uh, some extra food with us to throw it in us in the case that the dog does not realize that he would have been rewarded. No? Six ball. Session. Vier Futter. Setzen. Zwei. Zwei Futter. Neun, ah, eins Futter, Entschuldigung. Vier Ball. Komm, setze. Zehn. Und das ist das Problem right hier, das wir hier that dass wenn der Ball nicht geguided yet. We need to add a bridge. Seven. So the dog found, but he will get some more help for a correct indication. Since he was trained totally differently in a head back, so we give him some support. So I add some extra food sometimes that the dog gets a little more of a reward. Come. Take. Come. Super. Set. Set. So now we will also with this dog level up and 
switch to a 10 sec, uh, 10 rounds, that's okay. But we want a time of correct indication lower than four. And we will use cool. Nope, not four, lower than four. Not six, lower than four. Good. Let's do this. And we've ran probably more than 100 rounds with these dogs already, easily, maybe 200 or 300. But their learning history of sitting and having the head back or standing staring having the head back is too bold as if they would um, start to have the, the, the touching or the contact um, from the very beginning. But it's not a, a problem, it's just a training aspect. And four seconds are hell long of time. Fact. Setzen. And what I like about the dog is that he is ignoring the sound of kibble falling down and um, because he's used to a lot of distractor training so that's just what he has learned so far but he will learn in the context of training the machine that he is allowed to react on the, the beep come set them Here we have a blank search. Cool. Good. And the last one. Set. Take. 